Houston, we have a problem. Today, I want to talk about light pole batteries. What's going on, my fellow RC enthusiasts? This is Ryan from RC Off-Road. And today, I've got kind of a pretty cool eye-opening video, at least for myself. I bought this mini tee about a month ago. You've seen a couple videos, you know, I've done a couple, of did a review and tire upgrade and just been having a blast with this thing. Me and my wife, we've just been using the living crap out of it. This is pretty much my first electric vehicle in a long, long time. And pretty much the first time I've really dealt with lipos. So we're pretty much in learn mode. I've always been a nitro guy. Nitros were pretty much always the fastest. And I got out of the hobby for a while and they're not so much anymore. So, that said, ever since we bought this, if you're reading the owner's manual, they say this little stock charger right here, plug your cool little battery in, right there, you know, and it's supposed to turn green about 45 minutes to an hour. You know, it's red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. Well, the battery that come with, with the truck, stock, right here, this one, right there, never turned green, always red. But it would run the truck. Ran it, I probably ran it 10, 15 times that way. Steam had a blast. Never really knew much of a difference. And uh, we just kept using it. Well, I started doing a little bit of research and realized, you know, we probably should get a better charger to kind of see what kind of voltage, which cells are which, and this or that. So I've had this charger for about a day, day and a half, and kind of learning. And I had to get this, uh, there's a jumper wire I had to go, go and get, got this today. You know, it goes from IC3 to your EC3 plug, with your EC2 to plug in your mini T batteries. So, we're going to charge her up today. And, and I got a new battery. Got an extra battery too, so I bought this and this today at the local hobby shop, which is awesome. But I figure I'll charge the original battery up plug it in this battery charger's got a cool little voltage uh battery meter and she checks each cell like this one here says one this this battery charger will charge up to six cells so the first set of letters is the first cell which is 3.69 the second one would be your second cell which this is a 2s and we got a big fat zero so anybody that knows lipos knows that ain't good so basically, I'm pretty sure that this battery was pretty much bad out of the box. I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just saying. I haven't contacted the company or anything like that yet. We're, uh, I'm probably send them an email, see, see what they say. Not mad. Still super happy with the product. Batteries. That happens. You get a bad one. Completely understand. It is what it is. No big deal. These batteries are only, I only paid 20 bucks for this one right here at the hobby shop so mainly what I want to shoot this video for is for all the the new newbies out there new guys getting into the sport getting into the, the hobby you can use this charger for a couple days you know use it for a little bit get you going you play with it see how you like it but I highly 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 suggest getting some sort of upgraded charger to where you can tell your voltage like I bought I even bought this this other charger here this is a, a spectrum s150 this works pretty good it'll charge nickel metal hydride and it charges four different batteries charge a lipo even up to five amps but this don't tell you if you got a dead cell or if you're under uh, cut off you they don't they don't tell you nothing so it, it's it, it works I'm not saying not not bashing it but for the comfortability and the reliability and knowing what this battery is because for anybody out there that's never seen a lipo battery catch on fire 
better go Google that because it's an eye opener. You need to know what's going on when you're charging these kind of batteries. Technically, I should have this in a little protective cover or, or something, which I'm going to get. But I just wanted to shoot this video because I just realized this today that the, there's something wrong with this battery. It's why this charger wouldn't turn green. Because I charged this battery with this charger in about 45 minutes, it turns green. So it's 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 pretty important. Like uh, I'll plug this bat this other battery in and I'll show you the difference how this will go. This one's dead. I just I just ran the mini T, ran this, ran this dead. So it should be about three volts in each cell. So we'll uh I'll get her plugged in and then I'll show you show you the difference. Alright. Here's the second battery plugged in. This is the new one. This is the one I just bought. This is the one that I got with the vehicle. Out of the box. Look at the numbers. 3.221, 3.22. This is good, good battery. Both cells are pretty much balanced, which is what you want. Good equal charge with these lipos. This battery runs longer than this battery, obviously. This battery still worked. It still charged the truck. It still ran. still had plenty of power. I used crap out of it. Well, I didn't know any difference because this little charger isn't going to tell you. Then I bought this charger, and this charger doesn't tell you. It just charges them. So it, it, it's, it's, it's important to get a charger that will do got a battery meter this will this goes through your lipos and you can change all the different milliamp hours and this and that this charger will not charge this battery it says connection error it will not because this 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 battery has got a dead cell in it, it says zero so that kind of helps you troubleshoot that you got something wrong something something's not right so i mean there's a lot of a lot of new guys in there getting into the into the electric cars because basically they're pretty much king of the mountain now they, they, they're they're the fastest out there they're the most fun i mean there's not too many companies you can still buy nitro trucks but they're not nearly as popular as they are today so i mean if you're just getting into the rc world and you're getting you're getting into some lipos uh you need to do some research on on the batteries and make sure you're charging them right make sure that uh, you're doing everything the right way because you can really you it can really go bad if you don't know what you're doing so but yeah this is a cool little video I kind of figured I'd show you guys and, uh, you know I always like to put some stuff out there when I see something that I think is interesting I'm gonna shoot a video and I'm gonna post it for you you know, it's 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 uh, this kind of stuff I'm going to be doing more and more. It's my uh, old school basher I'm putting together right now. The old RC10 GT got some wheels on the front. You know, we're getting there. But uh, just make sure you want to subscribe to this channel. Click the bell so you can get notifications every time I uh, upload another video. So you know, just stuff like this, kind of knowledgeable little things that I think may be important. I'm just going to shoot a quick video and. Uh, post it up for you guys so make sure you subscribe comment in the bottom if you've ever seen seen this happen or or what your experiences with some light bulb batteries are i'd love to hear them so uh we'll uh talk to you guys later man